High school graduation rates are out for the state of Oregon. How did high schools in the Eugene Springfield area fare? Uh, Kate and ZI9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz joins us live in the studio to break down how the Bethel, Springfield, and 4J districts did in 2013. Sarah? High school graduation rates are improving for the Bethel School District. For Springfield, though, the 4J numbers are down. They say that there are a number of reasons that contribute to that decline, but all district leaders agree 100% graduation is everyone's goal. So, and, or, Teachers and students in the Bethel School District are working hard. So, it is hard. That's, not, that's the idea. District leaders say that hard work is paying off. We're pretty proud in Bethel School District that we are now the top school district in the Eugene Springfield area when it comes to graduation rates. Bethel spokesman Pat McGilvery says the Bethel School District, which has seen a decline in graduation rates for years, is up to 70% up almost 7% from last year. He says the district has been making great strides with a focus on graduation starting at the elementary level. Here's their academic performance and here's their, their performance on state tests. We put all that information together and determine whether your child, even at the youngest grades, is on track to graduate from high school. For 2013, only 64% of our students officially graduated on time within four years. However, our actual student achievement is significantly higher than that. 4J spokeswoman Carrie Delph says 4J's numbers fell to 64%. That's the lowest rate since 2009. She says a major contributing factor is a counting error and that more students graduated than were actually reported. About 72% of our students were ready and eligible to graduate on time. Unfortunately, we had some reporting issues, so some of them, the students who did graduate weren't counted. Springfield School saw a decline in its rates as well, and previously they had four consecutive years of improved graduation rates, but their assistant superintendent says there's something not factored in. We were in the 6.5% dropout rate five years ago, and um, we've almost cut that in half. And what we've been doing is we've invested in instructional teaming at our middle schools and our high schools, and we believe that's, that's yielding results. Now, Springfield Assistant Superintendent Matt Coleman says that they do have a number of teachers that are instructing students, which helps with the development and growth of each student as an individual. In the studio, Sarah Hurwitz, KEZI 9 News.